guys welcome back so today's video is a face of the day video um so of course it's sunday that seems to be the only time that i do face of the days um and i like it like that so i'll keep it to maybe every two sundays a month to a face of the day for the most part my face of the days on sunday is typically um neutral with a pop so i'll either have a neutral eye and bold lips um a neutral eye maybe my lower lash line has a bright color or if i'm gonna a feeling a nude lip and i gotta have some kind of color on my eyes and i'm usually rolling with like a purple or even a teal cotton of color on sunday sometimes a gold it just really depends on how i feel in the morning but a lot of times I'm usually in that neutral area um, I guess mainly because it's a safe area um, to be in uh, whatever so today's face of the day it's still on <laughs> I use the uh, Naked Basics from Urban Decay um, if you have Naked 1 and Naked 2 you totally do not need this palette um, and that's what it looks like. You've got six, you've got six shadows, um, neutral. They're all matte. Um, this one, Venus, has a little sheen or luster to it. Um, so I think that's great as a highlight or definitely for your inner tear duct. And um, so let me just show you the eyes before I start telling you. This is what the eyes look like. And a pop of color on the lower lash line so for okay for the lid color I used a uh, naked two which is this color excuse the nails oh, that's all horrible which is <laughs> naked two which is this color right here which looks like that and that's what I have on the lids all right there let me add a little more since I put it on my finger <laughs> touch up right hello there we go a nice little touch up um for my crease i'm using this color right here where is it right there and it's called faint oh i need a major manicure i'm sorry guys it's called faint and it's a a matte i would say medium brown um grayish brown to me i, I feel more gray from that um, for highlight under my brows, I used Foxy. Um, I did not want to use WOS, Walk of Sh which is Walk of Shame, um, because it has more of a pinky undertone, and I, I kind of wanted the more yellow one, so I used Foxy under my brows. Oh, where am I? I'm like so out of focus in the camera. You know what? Let me back up. And then for my inner tear duct, I used Venus, that right here. Not normally, you guys know I use uh, Glamour Doll Eyes Bare Naked pigment under my brows, but I just wanted it to be really simple and in like one palette, so I use this. Um, my lower lash line, I used Smashbox Pencil in Hope, which is really just a purple cream liner. Um, and if you don't have that, you can use the one from, I believe it's CoverGirl from um the drugstore whatever and then i set that with this eyeshadow from war paint beauty and this is called bruiser and it looks like that it looks like that like that um i got purple all over my finger for uh liner i used where is it I used my Maybelline Liquify pencil, but I used an angled brush. I got some of the product off the pencil, and then I used my liner to do it no wing, just strictly on the lid, thin, nice and thin. Again, this is a Sunday look, so I want to keep it not too crazy, okay? Um, for a base, I used the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Beige right here and that's what it looks like a nice champagne kind of color just remember with these guys to make sure you close them nice and tight because you don't want them to 
dry out on you okay what's next um mascara i used three things if i can find them all okay one two i'm missing one it's a big one okay here it is so i prime my lashes with the dior show mascara primer then i went in with my Too faced lash gasm i really can't stand the brush on that um this is not it and then i went in i'm like picking up everything but one i need with maybelline's lash length mascara used it one final time it goes in the garbage and it's only going in the garbage because i've been using that for like eight months i want to say um yeah what else skin no foundation no liquid foundation i just used my aj crimson um coverage conceal and contour palette which looks like this and i use this color for under my eyes and this color for under my brows okay excuse my kids they're playing and having a good time i did not set that with banana powder i wanted to keep it simple and natural so on my face i used my rock and republic powder this is angora if i can open it this is angora and it looks like this and i just put that all over the place blush i used i went into my mac palette because i realized i had not used my mac blushes in so long um yeah so i wanted to definitely bring these babies out so i used this on my cheeks and this is breezy and to do a slight contour i used raisin which looks like this and for highlight i used my superb extra dimension skin finished also by mac and this is the one that's more on a pinky champagne -y color the other one has a more yellowish undertone this one has a more pinkish undertone and i love this one i couldn't wait to get the other one which is called whisper of guilt that's like the more famous one but once i got this one i've actually been using this one more anything else i set everything with my urban decay all nighter um my lips after moisturizing with my eos and this is the peppermint one well it's just mint i think it's just mint I lined my lips with NYX Pencil and Prune, which just looks like that. Then for lipstick, I used Haute Couture by NYX, which looks like this. Which looks like that. And then I topped it with Revlon's Lip Gloss. I'm sorry, their Color Burst Gloss in Hot Pink. Which looks like this and that I believe is it for my face of the day that's it